Good afternoon folks, I'm Steven84, fly me to the moon and let me play amongst the stars. It's destiny time baby. But before I start, I'd just like to mention there's a giveaway at the end of the video, so stay tuned for details. Right, so destiny, the estimated 10 million people were waiting for the release of this game. It was released midnight Monday for the Tuesday release. Uh, many of which of the 10 million have already played the alpha and beta versions they won't be disappointed not much has changed gameplay graphics all stayed the same even with the day one patch moving the ver uh, game version along to 1.02 as i say this day one patch apparently contains a number of changes to weapons builds talents maps activities, achievements, progression, game stability and UI. As you can see this game does look stunning. There are some uh, bad guys there just taking aim on that uh, ghost I do believe. With a cost of 500 million pounds for development. I should hope this game's good to be fair. That's 75 more million pounds than the most expensive movie ever made, Avatar. So, there you go right there. That just shows you how much has been put into this game. Bungie, the developers of the Halo franchise and uh, also Call of Duty, have put a lot into this game. You can tell from the start, it is visually stunning. There are three main characters to choose from as the game starts. I do believe they're Titan, Hunter, and a Warlock. The gameplay you're about to see is the character of a Warlock. But if you are a friend on a PlayStation Network, you will notice my character is in there. A Hunter. I did stop at level 3, go back, decide. The Warlock went the character for me. I would suggest to do this early before you progress any further in the game. It just didn't feel right. I played with the Hunter in the beta version and I found myself having a, a, a better gameplay experience so uh, I, I did go back and uh, change to the Hunter but this is the, uh, the Warlock you see right now. Also, can anyone let me know uh, whether their Vanguard pre-order bonus is actually downloaded. I have got a friend uh, who has noticed uh, on his PlayStation Network install page, the notification page, it, it, it did say failed. So if anyone else has had this problem, let us know. Let us know how you got around it. Uh, if anyone else is, has installed, I do believe it's a level 20. You've got to be before you get any of the bonus material anyway, like uh, armor aircraft as such it's just what I've read I'm not don't quote me on that it's just what I've read but uh, yeah here we go here's the rifle being an online shooter as I say it's had a day one patch already expect a lot more it is a massive on online multiplayer uh, free roam kind of game it will have many more patches As of yet, I, I can't see much wrong with it. It is a stunning looking game. Boom! Headshot. As I say, the Halo franchise, it has got a feel of Halo about it, but it is no Halo. You, you can't put them on the same. For it. Just because they were made by the same person doesn't mean they're the same game. This is Destiny, that is Halo, this is a totally different game. It, it feels smooth. The gunplay, the only thing I will comment on is with this character, the Warlock. The, you know when you play games and you shoot a rifle in a game such as Battlefield Call of Duty. And you hear the rifle shoot. There's more ahead, keep it up. This character, the Warlock, I didn't like the sound of his gun. <laughs> it sounds stupid, but 
some people will pick on that. And I'll say, I am a gamer. I will go into a game. I'll look for reflections of shadows. If I shoot a light, will it go out? Stuff like that. Trip mines. I like the realism of a game. And if I know I am in space with a, a character that fires stuff out his hand, but the rifle, it didn't sound to me like it should be there. Boom. Also, the character customization at the beginning. It is only the facial editing. You edit features such as uh, hair, uh, facial shape, uh, face paints as such, hairstyle. It isn't a great deal that you will customize at the beginning. But the progression it is, as I say, it's it has got depth to it you do progress the character as you move along as you can see these characters here have uh oh that is a special ability there that is also one thing that you can upgrade as you progress but as i was saying the, the characters there do have a one next to the game as you progress you will notice these numbers get higher and higher uh to match your level i do believe so if you're a level nine they will be level 9 also but the customization is in the character like you can upgrade the guns uh, upgrade your special ability as I just said like get precision aiming you can upgrade different parts on different guns you can get rare guns rare capes rare clothing you can get different uh, spacecraft to fly around you I say I've, I've only played well I've played two days of it now where uh, I am addicted already the fallen but uh, I've played two days of it I'm level 9 already Just a little bit further. Let's hope there's something left. my defense because as I say you you do progress the uh, items and you get better defense better agility stuff like that so uh, yeah I think my defense is 140 odd at the moment 120 I will have to check that, but if you if you want to play with me, get my fire team. You stab me on PSN. It's the 84. I play alongside a uh, Fisher 82. A little advertisement for him. Check out his YouTube channel. GTA guitar punch in the face. Hilarious. But as the game goes along, you will see the graphics are visually stunning. The shadows. Look at that there. The shadow is brilliant. The lighting effects, was an old you do feel dream. as if you're gotta be something we can fly out of here. in space, as a space character, doing space stuff, taking out some mutants. Look at that. Fallen ships, this mm. close to the Vibration surface. There. Move. You will see in a minute or so uh, what I go on about uh, in upgrading I do believe my character moved to a level 2 and I do go into the menu page and you can see uh, what I mean I will slow down with the narration now I'll just hit you with the facts at the beginning but I'll let you watch a bit of the gameplay you can decide for yourself whether you want to go out and get the game I will recommend it to anyone who likes a shooter RPG it is epic so far as I say one battle alone me Fisher and uh, Bravo Tango Bravo uh, we did a mission last night of a firestorm of three it took two hours that one mission took two hours and I, I do believe that was only one part of the mission <laughs> So it is a massive game with an estimated 10 million people waiting for the release it's definitely going to be game of the year I believe so if you want to get yourself in don't miss out buy it now 
You can see mowing them down. It does get harder. <laughs> So this is kind of like an, an intro. So you get your first ship at the end of this uh, little bit here, and you fly off in there uh, to the tower. Look, this is where you level up here. Look, I'll, I'll go into the menu page. I'm picking up signs of an old jump ship. Yep, there. Look, defense is 59. I'm level two. You can upgrade. What do I get here? Uh, a vortex grenade, I upgrade it. And look, you've got your other empty spaces there, your guns, boots, body armor, cape, gloves, all upgradable. All with different, you can get rare items, rare guns. Look, as I say, it is visually stunning. The water, the reflections in the water. I've also been told, as you can see, that character there stuck his head around the corner and looked a bit stupid looking at me. You're like, well, why ain't you moving? <laughs> but the, the characters also level up as you level up in there. Uh, the AI, they will hide, they will chase you. If one person's shooting at an enemy, say, they will face, f fire at him. Gives a chance for your character to go in the back and take him out. But look, it, as I say, it has got the halo feel about it. The, the blue moon beans firing across the room there. So, voodoo magic going on. Headshot. And also with the hunter, that's why I, I did go back to the hunter because anyone who's watched my battlefield videos knows I like the sniper rifle. And the hunter also also got a sniper rifle with for those uh, epic headshots. There will be a montage following this uh, video shortly. I do. Uh, I will say. I do a lot of montages, so I'll get one of the Destiny, so you can see uh, clips of a few levels, not just this intro level. I say after this you get your ship which is uh, as you've already guessed probably above me I'm underneath it fighting there but you get your ship and uh, you fly to the tower the tower is where the online community do meet it is online community you will see other players there you can go and see uh, your commander the armory the rare uh, oh be quiet for this little bit Hasn't made a jump in centuries. We're lucky the fallen haven't completely picked it clean. Will it fly? I can make it work. But yeah, you will visit the tower and get all your upgrades and stuff like that. But that's basically the the intro level. So if you stayed around to here, I'd just like to say uh, thank you very much. I did say earlier on there'd be a giveaway, so uh, if you like uh, like like the video, subscribe to my channel. If you uh, okay. share the video, put your name in the comment section below. Once I hit, say 40, 50 subscribers, because I am only a new YouTuber, so I do like my subscribers, so say, I hit around 40, 50. All the names on the comment section I will put in a hat. I'll give them a jumble about, pull one out. Whoever's name I get, I'll contact. Give me your email address. I will uh, throw you a month's PSN, PlayStation Plus subscription, free for the giveaway. So all I'm asking is a like, a subscribe, and name in the comment section. Thanks once again.